Good evening, I'm meteorologist Karen Williams, and as you can see, we have a stubborn deck of clouds that's over our region right now. It's starting to lighten up a bit over in parts of Arkansas and Louisiana, but for us outside the station, those clouds are locked in. So when do we expect to see some relief? Those clouds will be out of here. Well, we'll let you know coming up when the Delta News at 10 starts right now. News that works for you. This is the Delta News at 10. Well, right now, Denise, we still have those stubborn clouds and the cool conditions throughout our area. Are we going to have any relief? After the break, I'll have your full forecast. As you can see by our satellite radar here, we still have that stubborn deck of clouds that's been hanging around all day. It's starting to slowly starting to break up out to our west, out in portions of Arkansas and parts of Louisiana. But once it finally breaks up, what we're going to have to contend with a lot later tonight and maybe early tomorrow morning, you may see some patchy fog in the area because there is no wind stirring around out there. Looking at your out the door forecast by tomorrow morning, it still may be a little bit foggy in places. Temperatures reaching 60 degrees and then by 2 p.m. we'll have mostly cloudy conditions, 65 and then by 6 p.m. it still will be some clouds hanging around. Now, right now in Greenwood, we're looking at 58 degrees and we're looking at the winds out of the east, east, southeast, five miles per hour, 90% humidity and that dew point at 55 degrees. And then for Greenville, 59 degrees with that east, southeast wind, seven miles per hour, the humidity at 81% and that dew point at 53 degrees. As we widen out our view, looking at those current temperatures, we're looking pretty much in the upper 50s to low 60s. We're looking at Pine Bluff at 58 degrees, 55 in El Dorado, 58 in Bastrop, 60 in Monroe, 61 in Vicksburg, 59 in Jackson, 56 in Winona, and we have 57 for both Clarksdale and, and Batesville, and then Tupelo's at 60 degrees. Our low temperatures tonight, not a whole lot of variation there. The temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s, with the chilly spot being Batesville at 50, 53 down in Kosciuszko, 53 in Carrollton, and another 53 down in Chula. And then the warm spot looks like it's going to be between Yazoo City and Hollandale, and as well as Lake Village at 54 degrees. Now, as we look at our future cast, again, you see a lot of clouds here, and those winds will be coming up from the south. Now, by Tuesday, we're going to see more clouds come in, but that will be our next weather maker that will be moving into the area. That one will bring us some showers, some light showers late on Tuesday into Wednesday. But this one's going to be kind of a slow mover. And once we get into and unfortunately, for Halloween, you might want to put the little rain slickers on the little ghouls and goblins because that it's going to move in kind of slow. And once the front gets through, what we're going to be looking at is some chillier temperatures. Now, as we look at the wider view here, we're looking at pretty much this is the next system that will be moving into the area. And as we zoom in a little bit closer here, things, we still have a few clouds around. But what we do is what we're going to do is travel on up I-95 here. The system that was formerly known as Olga is pretty much up here in the New England area. They are dealing with the heavy rains and winds. High pressure will be moving in for the folks in the Baltimore, Richmond area, and they will have sunny skies for tomorrow. As we go out to the center of the country, we're talking about snow here in Denver, parts of Casper, Wyoming, and Billings, Montana. They have colder air there, and they're dealing with snow. And as we go out here to the West Coast, something totally different here. You're looking at the warmer temperatures, temperatures in the upper 80s to 90s. But we have to deal with the fire 
hazards there. You have a high wind warning and that's expected to expire by 1 a.m. on Monday. Now, as we look at our nation's temperatures, we have a pretty much a wide variety in our temperatures. You're looking at plenty of sunshine for tomorrow, 86 degrees down Laredo, Texas, 69 degrees for Oklahoma City. And behind that line, again, this is going to be the colder air that will be moving in our direction. You're looking at Lincoln, Nebraska at 44 degrees. Our next chance for rain will be on Wednesday and Thursday, in which we have a 70% chance, and then eventually will dry out by Friday and Saturday. We're putting a dent in our drought situation here. The only place where it's unknowingly dry is up to our north near Clarksdale and Batesville, and also down to our south and west. Looking at the allergy forecast, their low irritant would be the weeds. Looking at Yazoo River level, we're starting to bump up a little bit, but it will slack back down toward the end of the week. And for the Mississippi River level, we are just sustaining very nicely below flood stage. Looking at your weather forecast for tonight, where we have patchy fog late, then partly cloudy conditions, winds will be calm, 52 degrees. And then for tomorrow, we still will have some patchy fog in the morning. And then we'll have the barrel of the clouds, Denise, clouds and sun, 73 degrees. And then looking ahead here, the seven day forecast, again, Wednesday and Thursday, we're looking at the showers there. And look at the little scare crook excuse me, the skeleton up there. <laughs> and then he will try out He looks like week. a scarecrow. He's, all <laughs> <laughs> he's doing his dance. <laughs> well, he's doing his little ditty, as they say. <laughs> yes, he's doing a little dance there. <laughs> well, it's going to be kind of sad. They're going to have rain. Yeah. Um, so they're going to get it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So sorry, trick-or-treaters. Thanks so much, Karen. Mm -hmm. Coming up.